did it again, man. What's up with y'all, man? It's A today, man. We back with another video, man. Check it. If it's your first time visiting the channel, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss no upcoming bangers like this one, man. Check it. Yes, I'm doing post notification shout outs, man. At the end of every single video, man, all you gotta do is comment Dead Gang. And the first people, the first three people that comment Dead Gang, man, you'll get a chance to get shout out at the end of the next video, man. Are right, you digging what I'm saying, man? So check it. Make sure you follow my Instagram, my underscore A Y E E E D A Y D A Y. But look, you follow my IG, you'll miss the upcoming videos, no teases, no posts, no thumbnails, no none of that, man. So make sure you follow my Instagram, all right? Boom. Hold on. Got one more thing for y'all. Follow my other YouTube channel at Tay and Dede, all right? If y'all want to see entertaining videos, pranks, challenges, public interviews, man, every every little bit of everything. You dig what I'm saying, man? So make sure y'all figure it out. Y'all check that out. Link in the description down below. But other than that, y'all already see what it is, man. We got that, uh, Hobbies number nine, wipes, you know what I'm saying? Got some gloves, you know what I'm saying? Got that lube, you dig what I'm saying? Huh, for your girl, <laughs> yes yeah, sir. Got the toothbrush, you know what I'm saying? Got the bristle, you know what I'm saying? And you got the Glock 17 Gen 4, you dig what I'm saying, man? So y'all already know what the title is. Y'all already seen what it is. Y'all seen about that pretty ass thumbnail like always, man. Let's get right into the video, man. Then they gang, you dig what I'm saying, man? Let's go, man. All right, gang, so y'all already know what it is, man. First thing we gotta do, man, is clear the weapon, all right? So first thing we gotta do is drop the magazine. I buy that, that jump, boom, just like that, man. Now, you second thing you wanna do is open the slide up. Just open it up like that, make sure there's nothing in there. Y'all gonna check that right there for y'all. Y'all see that, nothing up in that thing. And so I'm gonna check that thing too, put my finger up in that thing, wiggle around a little bit, end up in that thing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, close that back up, you know what I'm saying? First, second thing, third thing you wanna do, is decock it by pulling the trigger, just like that, pull the trigger. You got this takedown pin right here. You also got a takedown pin right here on this side. So as you're doing that, you wanna pull the slide back and you wanna pull these pins down at the same time. So just like this, if y'all can see, boom, slide it forward, just like that, all right? So now right here, you got the recoil spring, the barrel, and the slide, all right? So first, second thing you're gonna, uh, you're gonna do is take this recoil spring and stuff off, just like that, come straight off. Then you wanna take the barrel out, if I can see how that is right here. Take the barrel out. And then this is just the slide. So, what we gonna do right here, we gonna work on the barrel first. So what I'm gonna do now, cause it's about to get a little bit messy, put the gloves on the thing, all right? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you wear, wear a glove, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what sometimes she say, no glove, no love. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Especially with that lube, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to get that thing too, too, too. Yes, sir. So, first, what I like to do, I'm going to take uh, a wipe and put it on bristles. So, first, I'm going to open this up like this. This is how I do it, all right? This is how I do it. I'm going to say that one more time. This is how I do it. Say it again. Well, this is how I do it, okay? So, this is the wipes look like. This is a quick and easier way because what's actually on this wipes is lubricating oil on this wipes. And everything it's lubricating oil it got like uh like kerosene and things like that so you all know that's gonna help with cleaning it and it's actual oil on this and this is what it looks like right here i don't know if y'all can see it or not so then what you would do put this over top right here twist it around like that basically wrap it around just like that. And that's why I say if y'all get this, use gloves. So then what you would do, you would basically take it and put it inside the barrel. Just push it up in there, push it up in there. See how it broke off. And then you just pull it back off. And y'all might get some dust about it, that thing. So then what you would do then, Take the wipe off, it's gonna rip off. Get some of your gun oil that you have. Get y'all, oh, let me show you. Uh, get y'all like a little bottle top like this. Let me show you what that's for. Open that up right there. Or y'all can just do it like this. Open it up and use the top part. Just drop some of that oil in there. Like that and then dump it on the bristles. I know my bad, y'all not gonna be able to see this cause I gotta put the top back on. Cause I don't want this shit to spill. 
All right, y'all, so what I'm doing right now is just taking some of the oil and putting it on the bristles, just twisting around, twisting it around, twisting it around. So that first white was just basically just getting this stuff through there. And then what you would do is pick up the barrel back up. Go ahead and push it back through there. Push it all the way up in there. Pull it back out and do it again. Just pull it back out. And you can do it from the other side also. Just go ahead and push that back up in there. Y'all can do this as many times as you need. Just twist it. And that's getting up all that dirt. So have y'all seen it this time when I did it? I don't know if I can see that. It's less dirt, less dust and stuff that came out. So I don't know if I can see. Y'all see how that is in there? You can see it's very clean and everything like that. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. So then what you will do from there, you can get another white. We ain't done with the barrel yet. You get another white. You get another white right here and then wipe the back part of this actual barrel. Wipe the whole barrel off. So we just did the inside. Y'all see how dirty this is? From the outside of the barrel. Just put it in your hand, just twist it. See how dirty that is, man? Just twist it. Just clean it off, clean it off. And just basically just wipe it, wipe it off. All right, so then what you would do next, just go get your, uh, I got a paper towel right here. So just get your paper towel, shop rag, paper towel, t-shirt, whatever you got. Just dry it off, just dry it off like that. So this is the barrel now for y'all. So as y'all can see, it's clean. See how they look? It's clean. Let me try to see if I can see the inside of that thing. It's clean. It's clean. You see how it look, look like shiny? It's shiny in there. That's how you know you cleaned it out. Everything is good. It's not that hard. So this, that we knocked out the barrel part. Let's go ahead and get to the slide. For the slide, you're gonna take some of the gun oil. Open that back up. Now, you, like I said, this now you want your toothbrush. Put some of that on your toothbrush. Not too much, just a little bit on the toothbrush. Just get it, oh shit. Let's get a little nice and a little wet a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now you basically just, same way you brush your damn teeth. Just get up on that thing. You brush that like that. You see how, y'all see, y'all see how dirty this is? You see how this, I just did this side and it's a little shiny, so what we're gonna do. Take that right there. Let's get up in there. You make sure you want to get, you want to get up and hit this part right, right there. So you gotta get that. See how dirty this thing has got. Like you can use the gun oil, or you can just use the uh, the wipes. I use the gun oil and everything too, and then I just use the wipes, and then I wipe it down with a paper towel. Make sure y'all can see that. Cool, see how that look now? So then, what I would do is get another, another wipe. Like I said, this is how I do it, y'all. Everybody can do it different. You don't have to have these wipes or anything like that. Just take a wipe. You basically kind of just go through it, wipe it down. That's why I recommend y'all get some gloves for this, especially because it's going to get dirty. Your hands going to be real dirty. Yeah, all you do 
two down. Let's get another paper towel. And then you just throw it off. It's simple, man. You, know how you don't have to be so technical and all that. Take an hour cleaning and shit. You don't have to do all that, man. Some people might do it like that. If you do it like that, don't be in my comments saying, oh, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. You don't have to break the whole damn gun down and do all the extra shit. Nah, this is just a quick cleaning way of doing it. You just dry everything off. See? I we cleaned all of that. Look at look at that shit. That thing is shiny. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to be. You ain't gotta do all that extra shit. Too much. You don't need to do all that real quick. Just wipe everything down. So now we got the barrel done. We got the slide done for the spring and everything like that. Just that right there, just get you a wipe. You don't need no oil or nothing like that for that. Get you a wipe. Wrap that joint around. Just twist it just like this. That's all you gotta do. Twist it, twist it. Wipe that thing down. See how clean that thing just got? Just that little bit, just that little bit of wiping. That's it. You don't have to have so much shit. Like I said, these hoppies, number nine, field wipes, man. They should sell them at the stores. You can get them for like $15. Boom. Just gonna clean that up. Clean all of that up right there. Boom. So now we got the barrel done. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. The slab, my fault. The barrel. The recoil spring. Now it's time to get to the gun. So we're gonna clean up all of this. Y'all see how they look up in there? We're gonna clean all that up inside. So we already put a little bit, a little bit more oil on this thing. I just realized something. This this little top part right here opens up. I'm retarded. I'm retarded. I didn't know that. I'm not used to using this and it closed up like that. I did not know that. So then, from right here, just brush that thing. See how that thing getting shiny up in there? Brush that thing, you need to really, you don't gotta be gentle with this drink. Get up in that thing. That's what she say, get up in that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Go that extra mile, put that leg up on that jump, man. You know what I'm saying? You scrub all of that, get all up in there. Get right there on the top part also. And this right here, after I do this, I just basically just, I either use another wipe to like wipe all the stuff that I probably could have like wipe all that gunk and stuff up. Cause once you do this, it's basically like brushing it up and you getting it and then you need to wipe something down to basically wipe the, like wipe it down with some uh some wipes or anything. Then paper towel it down with it though, you basically just cleaned it. If y'all get what I was trying to say. Cause basically you doing this, you, you wipe, bring it all of it up. Get some good other wipes to wipe it all down, and then paper towel to dry it off. So y'all see how that thing look right there? Shit. Cool. So from there, oh shit. You get another wipe. To a wipe and just wipe this, wipe this joint down. I ain't trying to make this video too long, y'all, but I'm just showing y'all how I do it. You can take your time with this. You can do it quick. This is just my way of doing it. Like I said, this is how I do it. I know some people are gonna say. Oh, this, that, and the third, la la la, like they always do, but who really cares? And then that's it, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. See how that thing's shiny? Get you another paper towel. I need two this time, or three. As y'all can remember, y'all see how y'all see how it was at first. This is cleaner. It's way cleaner. See, I'm about to show y'all. I'm wipe this little part right here. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Nothing on that jump. That just goes to show that joint clean. 
do want to get get up in there with a mag go. Also, just put the towel up there. Pour that through. You know what I'm saying? Put the towel up there. Pour that through. Pour it back down. Shit. Stop. Boom. So the last thing you want to do now, you want to go back to your, back to your, and you want to put some oil right there, like right on the top part, right there. So I'm gonna show y'all. If y'all can be able to see it, I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna put it right there. Just a little bit, not too much. Just be real gentle with it. Let that let that drink just run down. Y'all see it running down right there? Just put it on there and let that drink just run down. That's gonna run all the way down. We're gonna stand this up very quick. And let that run down. And then we're gonna put we're gonna let that continue to run down. Alright, so that ran down right there. And we gonna also put Put some right here, cause that's where it's gonna be hitting at. Right there. And you also can just, so once you do that, close this back up. Just rub your finger on there. Just lube it up. That's all you gotta do. And basically, just last thing you know, what I'm saying, let everything rather go all your run down. Like I said, let it run down on there. Then all you do then is just reassemble the gun. Once you reassemble it, all you do is put the barrel back in there, like that. Put a recoil spring, like on it, like that. Pick up your weapon. And you wanna slide it back. Cause we put the oil right here on the slab, part where it's gonna go in there, so we don't have to really put it on there. I just put it some up here, and then you just put it right there. That's how you do it, y'all. So, all right, gang, so y'all already know what time it is. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's the post notification shout out time, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all think y'all was the winner, man, listen, like I say, every time I do this at the end of every single video, this be the hardest decision, man. I swear to God, because like all y'all do it one time, but I gotta go by and look at like the very, very first, you know what I'm saying? Look at the times and everything, y'all know what I'm saying? I do it by the book, you know what I'm saying? But, man, as y'all already know, Bang! Right there, man. These are the three winners that we had this time for the puzzle occasion. Shout out, man. Shout out to them. Like I always say, shout out to each and every single one of y'all for supporting like y'all always do, man. Y'all already know the puzzle occasion shout outs we doing in every single video, man. All you gotta do is just uh, comment down there they gang under every single new video I drop. The first three people that uh, comment down below win a chance to get a uh, shout out in the next video. Y'all already know what it is, though. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Appreciate all the love and support from each and every single one of y'all, man. They they Gang, you dig what I'm saying, man? I'ma catch y'all in the next one, man. We out, man. Yeti!